So we're going from days where it's currently 30 degrees outside to zero degrees. So it's quite a temperature shock. So I have to travel a lot for work now, and the airports are getting busy post-COVID. So because I'm traveling a lot, I've got some additional perks like lounge access. I'm currently in the Emirates Lounge in Melbourne. So we're going to quickly freshen up and get on with our flight. Thank you for waiting, ladies and gentlemen. We've invited the first class. Now we're inviting the executive platinum, platinum, emerald, sapphire. Thank you. Thank you. You see this Ferrari behind me? It's not just something to do with art, but it's to do with the heart of Modena where I'm currently based. Ferrari was created in the heart of Modena, not too far from here, about a five minute walk. Another thing amazing thing about Modena is also the home of Lamborghini and Pagani. So it's really the home for supercars. It's amazing how such a small place can produce some of the best supercars from around the world. It was obviously that competition and drive from this area that brought up some of the most iconic supercars that you can see today. Well, so why am I here in Modena? You see, we have a local team here and doing it from so far away, we can only do so much. So we need to make sure they're in alignment and getting agreement with the direction that we're going. So I'm here to meet the team and update them with the progress and hopefully get on the same page. You see, Modena has a really ancient history. In fact, the road I'm working on was dated back to the Roman times. You see, when they needed to travel a long way with horses, they needed watering holes to feed and water the horses. And this was just one of the stop orders that they needed to stop at to make sure the horses were well fed and watered. You see, throughout Monona, we can see some amazing architecture where they've taken a lot of time and detail. So engineers were not just engineers back in the day, they also had to be architects to make these magnificent masterpieces. It's amazing with the detail and intricate details that they actually managed to achieve back then. Now we may be able to see behind us, it is leaning in one direction. We can see the tower behind us leaning towards us while the church is leaning the other way. So the footings themselves had settled over time. And these were settling and increasing the settlement over time, so they had to do additional work to stabilize this structure. So we've made it to Florence, and we've gone to the Cathedral di Florenzi to see the Renaissance dome, the amazing engineering behind it, and one of the biggest masonry domes ever built. So you've seen that I've currently been on a business trip. So you can say I've been to LA, India. Would I say that traveling is as good as you think it is when you're on a business trip? Well, no, not really. There's a lot of work involved. So you can be quite tiring, especially if you're changing time zones consecutively. It's not something to really complain about because how many people actually get the opportunity to travel where they go? It's really been an amazing trip so far. So we've traveled across many different continents. We've gone almost two thirds around the world and we're going all the way back. And I got to meet a lot of amazing people, but some people go, oh, that's amazing. It's not as good as you may think, as you do need to make sure that you're getting the best benefit out of it. So you're making sure that you're doing as much hours of work that you need to, to catch up with the colleagues as needed. Because when you go back to the office, it's when you can do your hard work. The thing that you can't do is building up those relationships from that remote place. So it's a different type of work and you can get a lot of things cleaned up through some simple conversations. Would I trade it for anything? No, truly grateful for being allowed to travel like this. But you can see the hotel is quite big and luxurious. So this is some of the sites out of my hotel room in the heart of Modena. Modena is definitely some of the places that, you know, if I could choose to live somewhere, Modena would be somewhere I could live. But also you've got to realize, you've got to also make sure you make time to go back and call your family. You don't miss out on them because they're really your heart and soul. And I really can't wait to get back home and see my kids after such a long time. It's going to be probably over a month of travel before I've seen them. So about five to six weeks. So we've made it down to Rome, to one of the most iconic sites in all of Italy. We can see the Colosseum behind us. It's really a feat of engineering. Putting, you know, in the... Pieces onto decorations. It wasn't a proper decoration. It was more for the scaffolding. So. Yeah, construction. Yes. 
The one thing I love about going to Rome is seeing archaeology on display. The old buildings are massive. They're truly impressive even for now, yet they were built so many years ago. When I was here last time, I don't remember all the props. I made it to another iconic site, the Trevi Fountain. And of course, you can't go par not visiting the Pantheon. So the Pantheon is an amazing dome structure. It's over 2,000 years old. See the detail and architecture that's gone into it, the form of this concrete dome. 